now in this uh, patient, age 45 years, uh, with the history of dyspnea, orthopnea. Uh, you, you are present just seeing three areas in ultrasound with patient in left lateral decubitus posture. Uh, this is the uh, left lobe of the liver in longitudinal section. This is the diaphragm, a part of the right hemidiaphragm. This is the muscle. This is the ileosus muscle. And this part, this hypogenic area, is the right kidney. Now this is the right kidney at this area. In longitudinal section, measuring 7.9 cm in length and 2.2, uh, 2.3 cm in anterior posterior diameter. The normal dimension uh, for length, if uh, this length is uh, this area, from here to here, from pole to pole, is considered to be uh, 6 to 11 cm patients shows 7.94 so with the normal. The, the size of the kidney and length is relatively uh, small but with a normal range. Now anterior posterior is diameter is the most important diameter in ultrasound as at any age it should not uh, uh, exceed more than 5 and should not go down uh, below 2.5. So 2.5 to 5 centimeter is considered to be normal, whereas patients' anterior posterior diameter of that of the right kidney is 2.2 uh, or 2.3. Uh, <coughs> sorry, centimeter. So the kidney is uh, small in uh, anterior posterior diameter. Okay. Let's. We were seeing this view. This was where I freezed the image. Now I'm going to see the kidney again. It lumpas are like in Saru. Roko. Roko. Nidri Balkan. Now if you see that, sorry, that uh, the outer border of the, or the capsule of the kidney is rather buffered, number one. Number two, the, the parenchyma is thinned out, it is thinning of the parenchyma. These are the uh, few cystic areas, the medulla and uh, there is uh, no central sign of psychocomplex fat seen and note that the hypogenicity of that of the parenchyma is significantly more as compared to that of the normal liver. Now this is the liver. Compare the brightness or hypogenicity of the liver with that of the right kidney parenchyma. This is the parenchyma. So the parenchymal hypogenicity is probably raised. The dimension in anterior posterior diameter is small. The outer capsule is muffled. There are cystic, tiny cystic areas seen within the uh, medullary region, which are the pyramids, and there is uh, no central sinus complex. These uh, and there is this is the muscle, the hyosolus muscle on which the kidney glides. This is the diaphragm. So this is in fact uh, a case uh, of uh, grade two uh, renal parenchymal disease. Here we are again to see the difference of echogenicity between the liver and liver is less echogenic compared to the renal parenchyma or renal parenchyma is highly echogenic compared to that of the normal liver. So 
So this is opposite to that of the normal because in normal cases the parenchymal echogenicity of the uh, kidney is less as compared to that of the kidney or uh, as compared to liver or equal to that of the liver. But in this case you are seeing the opposite. There is uh, no significant hydronephrosis and uh, there is no calculus seen, no popperian seen and patient cannot hold the breath because being listening, he is listening. So bear with me, this is the transfer section of the kidney. And you can see the vessels entering the hilum of the kidney. This is the left kidney in dilating the transfer section. Measures 3.3.0 centimeters and uh, passamid. And passamid. Uh, this is the normal. This is with the normal length. Yes, 3.0. Is 2.5 to 5 is considered normal. Now I'm moving towards the left kidney of the patient. This is the with patient in left after the right after the cubitus posture. Here we are going to magnify a bit to make the things clear. Now in this kidney, there are a bit difference, differences compared to the left kidney, the right kidney. This is the left kidney in front of you that is moving and gliding over the left solus muscle. Now you see that uh, this is the parenchyma, this area, and the parenchymal equogenicity is much more raised compared to the spleen. Normally, its equogenicity should be equal to supreme, less than that of the supreme. So, now your uh, equogenicity is raised. These are the pyramids. The pyramids are a bit prominent. Central sign of echo complex is rather muffled. Okay, compare the equogenicity. This is the parenchyma, the cortex of the left kidney. This is the supreme parenchyma. Now, note the eco-genicity or eco-brightness difference of the spleen with that of the left kidney, upper pole. This is the upper pole of the left kidney. Now, the central sign is eco-complex. You are seeing muffled pyramids are a bit prominent in this case. And uh, the central sign is eco-complex, though present, is this is the central sinus echo complex right area in prominent renal pyramids uh, in the medullary region. The kidney measures 8.0 centimeters in length and 3.2 centimeter in anterior posterior diameter. And this is the normal dimension. This kidney is with a normal dimension showing grade one renal pyramid. So this is how you evaluate the renal, medical renal diseases. changes and left kidney shows grade 1 renal parenchyma changes in this patient. Okay. 